I've got a special t- story to tell you. It all started when a girl called Mary was visited by an angel who told her she was going to have a baby. This surprised Mary because she wasn't married yet, but the angel said God was going to be the baby's dad and she was to call the baby Jesus. That must be scary. What Mary said. Mary said she was frightened and nervous, but that she trusted God and would be faithful in having his special baby. A prayer for mums. Jesus. Thank you for for mums. Thank you that they are kind and helpful. Thank you for their cuddles and kisses, for reading the stories. When mums feel taken for granted or under too much pressure, we pray that you would give them patience. When they feel overwhelmed, that they still find time to rest and enjoy cuddles. When mums worried, please help them to trust God like Mary did. Meanwhile, Joseph was excited to marry Mary when he found out she was pregnant. It made him worried if he was doing the right thing, marrying Mary, but the angel visited him too, this time in a dream. The angel told him this was God's plan and he was to look after Mary and God's son. Poor Joseph, that must be a big responsibility. She did what? God asked. Yes, he married Mary and promised to look after her and God's precious baby, but it wasn't easy. A prayer for dads. Dear God, thank you for dads. Thank you for tickles and cuddles. Thank you that they are good fixes and for the fun they bring. Thank you, God, that dads are strong. But we will pray that they know they don't need to do everything in their own strength. That they will lean on you and that those around them will to help when things get tough. Help them find times to meet with you this Christmas. We pray that, like Joseph, they will listen to you and they care for their family and let you guide them. Whilst Mary was still pregnant, the Lord said everybody had to return to the town that they were born for a census, which is like a register. So Mary and Joseph set off to travel from Nazareth to Bethlehem, which is a really long way. Did they go in a car? Did them went in plane? No, they only had a little donkey to carry their belongings and to carry Mary when she got too tired of carrying her big bump. Poor donkey. He was so tired of carrying all that. A prayer for those with burdens. When people feel tired or worried, Lord, with COVID, Christmas pressure, friendships, work, family, money, health, school. We pray that you will bring people alongside them and help ease their burdens. We pray that, like the donkey, they would help others on their journeys. Whilst Mary and Joseph were travelling, an angel appeared to three shepherds who were watching their sheep in a field. At first, the shepherds were afraid, but the angel told them not to be not to be as he was coming to give them good news. A baby was to be born who would be God's son and would save us all. The shepherds set off off straight away to visit the baby and worship him. Seconds, it must be important. Yet, if the angels ought to tell them about the baby. Actually, no, shepherds 
weren't considered to be important people. Most people looked down to them and certainly wouldn't have invited them to meet a king. A prayer for those who feel unimportant. Dear God, please remind us to think of others this Christmas. So many people feel judged, unloved or unimportant. We pray that we would find ways to help show them that you care and that they are loved. Help us open our hearts to them this Christmas. Prayer be like angels. Sometimes, God, the dark can be scary. We pray that like the angels brought light and the good news of Jesus, we would shine your light in the world this Christmas. The things that we say and do will show people your glory. Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, but the town was so busy. They tried place after place to stay in hotels, be at bees, it inns and all were full, until finally one kind innkeeper said if they were really desperate, they could stay in the stable. It wasn't very nice. It's where the animals lived, so it was pretty poggy. But Mary was tired and the baby was going to be born soon. So they said thank you to the innkeeper and settled in the stable. He was kind. Yes, he made room for them when he was so busy. A prayer for busyness. Christmas is always so busy. Cooking and baking. Shopping. Decorating. Wrapping. Christmas card writing. Always lots to do. But like the innkeeper still found room for Jesus, help us to find room in our hearts. To remember Christmas is really all about him. Three wise men who were kind of like kings noticed a bright new star shining above Bethlehem. They were so wise that they knew the star had meant something special, that a new king was being born. So they packed their bags and got their camels and set off to follow the star and worship God's son. Camels. <laughs> Good job. God put the star there to show everyone where Jesus is. Prayer be like God's star. My welfare is pretty lost right now. There's lots of fighting. Gossiping. Lying. Selfish. Uh, we pray that you will help us be like the star, show people the way to Jesus. Bring in peace, show in love, speaking truth, being generous, loving and healing. Good wise men is clever, know their star was important. And to know to follow it, they must be good kings. Prayer for us leaders. Just like the wise men listened and followed your star, we pray that our leaders will follow in their footsteps. We pray that you will help guide them to make the right decisions and become a good example in what their choices are. Help us to have faith in them and trust that you will keep us safe. Under the star in the stable, things were hotting up for Mary as her baby was getting closer to being born. In the stable! It can't be how she wanted her to have her baby. Yes, but she just had to do the best she could. Trust God and lead on Joseph. A prayer for when things don't go as we hoped. The last couple of years have been full of cancel plans. Things that had to be different and lots of disappointments. We pray that you would help us trust you as things don't go as we hoped. That when things get stressful and we feel uncertain, 
or disappointed. We would remember you are in control, working all things together for our good. Then finally, in the stable, the baby was born. He was called Jesus! Yes, just as the angel had said, the shepherds and wise men followed the star and found the most wonderful baby. They worshipped him and brought him gifts. I love babies. He is special. Yes, he was a special baby. Prayer for Jesus. Dear God, we thank you for Christmas, the time when we celebrate your precious son, Jesus. We thank you that he came to save us so that we can be forgiven. We are sorry for the time that we haven't lived like you wanted us to. And we pray that you to help us to be like all the people in the special story. Trust in like Mary. Faithful like Joseph. Examples of your glory, like the angels. Always making room for Jesus. Like the keeper. A light to guide people to you like the star. As we remember Jesus as a baby, we thank you, Lord, for children, for the joy and hope that they bring to our lives. We pray that you would bless and protect them, and as they grow, they will always know your great love for them. At the first Christmas, everyone was excited for Jesus. Help our excitement be for the same reason this Christmas. Amen.